you're watching my favorite YouTube channel. I want to give Variety the attention that they deserve right now because early on they were de- covering the Jonathan Majors assault case. Often you can see here on March 26th, you can see a headline here on the 27th, the 30th. They were not wasting any time getting it out. 17th, 27th, and the nature of a lot of these uh, news stories were that of like, hey, it's things are looking worse for Jonathan. Where's that one? Where's that things were looking worse headline? Well, I found one for March 26 about how the army commercials were pulled after the actor's arrest for alleged assault. And that's a miniature story, but they definitely had to write an article about that. You would think that there would be more articles that they would write that display him in a more positive light. But that is not the case of what actually happened. They kind of went silent for a really long time. Okay, here was my favorite article. Jonathan Majors, the issues worsen as more alleged abuse victims cooperate with the DA's office. It's an exclusive, which probably means that the DA hinted, hey, we're going to get these people who are going to be uh, very hurtful to Jonathan Majors' cause and just let people know about that. That's, that's what they were going for over there. Honestly? Let's look at what they've covered since, because the most recent is the most telling. A lot of people don't understand. Some people have a surface relationship with what racism is. There's, okay, you can't ever say you people, all right? That's not okay, but if it's in a song, you can get away with it a little bit of uh, time, and you can rehabilitate from that. The surface the surface level racism that they don't get. Chillmonger is noticing what they're not saying. By the coverage that was on a heavy onslaught compared to the coverage that happens now, which is less so, it's not so active, it's not so daily, but also when you read the articles, it's not as information filled as it should be. It withholds the truth. There are people who only peruse variety for their entertainment news, and to them, they probably have a different set of perspective that you and I have who've been reading the insider articles from Laura Italiano, clicking play on those videos, like the ones that I keep playing with you. Like they've never shown this on of this woman using her fingers perfectly fine at the club, even though she's supposed to have it fractured behind her right ear. It's not damaged at all over a variety. They don't know this stuff. They've been withholding it from their audience. And that's a lot of movie paying tickets that are going to go, not going to Jonathan Majors movies because in their perception, based off of the people who they trust to deliver them their news based on them, it's not looking good. Shout out to Chomonga right there. I've opened up the most recent article from Variety written by this guy named Jordan, who's not Tatiana Siegel, Rebecca Ruin. You'd think the coverage would be a little bit different. It's not the case, actually, because what's being withheld is at no point in here do I see a video that I can click on to see the woman who he allegedly has beaten on eight minutes later. Perfectly fine. Remember that video that we all saw? We all know the video because we watched the YouTube channel of Chomonga. Variety didn't supply it. Variety instead worded things as if this is still a 50-50. I don't know. Hey, hey. Not wording it as if they've constantly delayed this case to hurt jonathan majors after multiple delays jonathan misdemeanor assault case is next hearing for october 25 why don't you display who is the one responsible for all of these multiple delays who's the one withholding evidence during the time of these delays who is the one it's the prosecution prosecution during a friday hearing judge michael gaffey decided on october 25 date for the hearing while that is true information it's also the same guy you're, you're forgetting to mention that he said you guys are on the clock He's the one trying to race it because the prosecution have been trying their best to, I don't know, disparage him and elongate the legal funds that he's going to play. Maybe he'll uh, just pay to settle it out of court. That's the, the role of what they've been doing. But you didn't mention that at all. They decided it's October 25th. On September 12th, Major's team had filed a motion to dismiss the case, to which the DA's office must respond by October 6th. Defense must reply October 13th. Then the judge is going to confirm that majors can appear virtually at the next hearing, but he must attend in person once the trial begins. This paints him as if he's some guy who's running away from any accountability. You, hey, listen here, buddy, you can come on virtually, but you have to be there when it's time for the trial. To, the trial may get dismissed, isn't it? Then they file a motion to dismiss the case. Remember that? Don't like, why are we pretending that this isn't like a, a crazy situation of an accusation? that was coerced by police officers. Are you going to mention that there was a police body camera footage that shows that her face or her neck isn't actually strangled, even though what she said at the time was, I was strangled, which is the reason that he was handcuffed in the first place, right? Because they got that. Why aren't you mentioning the truth variety? I see what you, I see what you're not saying. Others do too variety. This is not a publication I can really stand by. Like it's, It's so much. It's too much. And it's too often. It's been like six months of this kind of coverage that I can't say, oh, well, these guys are just not in the know. They're not as deliberate, bro. Everything that come from Variety side, as well as other media members. And that's why I'm disappointed in YouTubers. Not all of them. Shout out to Tyrone Magnus has been covering this one to his mass audience. 
We've got people like Everything Always, who's covering this to mass audience, offering video surveillance every time there's an update. You know, there's people like uh, the Cosmic Wonder I've been watching, covering it to his mass audience and not being somebody who is, uh, you know, wishy washy. You know, I don't know if I can make a decision yet because I got to worry about if my really, no, nah, none of that shit. They just covered it. They cover it. Good for them. I respect that. I, I just watched this last week. And I watched a lot of YouTube media, not Variety, not the establishment, the independent people who are not paid by anybody but their ad revenue from YouTube. And I've been disappointed by so many. I've been disappointed by many, many people who are, you would think that would be out over here trying to be, uh, I don't know, looking out for their brother who looks the way Jonathan Majors does, who's going to take roles in the future to uplift the people for like decades. I really do mean four decades from now because the dude's only 34 until he's really old. He'll be playing multiple positive roles. His talent warrants it. His name value, especially after an Avengers push, is going to get him into stage where you want this guy to be the lead man, the, the this guy who breaks up fights of high schoolers, and as well as this guy who... Um, he took a lot of pain from that woman scratching him everything. He did not go to the cops. It wasn't until June where he was like, all right, fine. Let's press charges on her. He, this is a guy who, is, uh, who can keep things quiet. He's a very commendable man. He dialed 911 on her behalf after she sent some suicidal text messages. Saw her over there with a weird little ritual. And apparently she wrote a note too. All right. This is the kind of guy who keeps things hush-hush. He's very low-key. He's pretty polite. This is the kind of great representative off the screen and then what he's going to be able to portray on the screen is going to further elevate and if, you're, if you're into racial progression and things like that and you understand the power of hollywood and what roles can do to inspire a people as well as the people he doesn't fit in with the, the, the under melanated of us they could obviously see value and uh ascribe worth to characters that he's going to be playing in the lead position and studios are going to be more apprehensive to they were more apprehensive to give $200 million budgets to people with dark skin tones. But maybe this Jonathan Majors guy, you know, maybe he might crack that that ceiling. There's a few actors who've done it. I'm not going to discredit Will Smith who and, and Dwayne Johnson and Eddie Murphy and Wesley Snipes. I don't want to discredit Denzel Washington, who are actors that they've definitely... Why did I say five? I counted to five like this. I should have said this. There's more than five actors I can think of who've been worthy of all the money. That, that, but here's another one, you know, Chadwick Boseman. You never know. I do know what could have been. I know that that this that was another actor you could have added to this. Not a very long list of actors who have been warranting the studio attention. But there was this Jonathan Majors guy, and you'd think that YouTubers who look like Jonathan Majors can benefit from, and his and their kids can benefit from. And that's not a personal shot. That's just. Let me stop. Back to the article that I'm covering. Variety says down here that Majors has appeared virtually Friday, faces misdemeanor charge. See, the emphasis on him appearing virtually makes it sound like he's this coward. Yeah, what about that woman who can't even come to the country? Are you going to mention that in your article? Nope. Faces the misdemeanor charges of harassment and assault after he was arrested in New York on March 25. His former partner, Stephanie McMahon, accused him of assaulting her while they were traveling in a taxi back to his Manhattan apartment. And why don't you talk about what he accused her? Because there was also a police report that he filed, right? And they have probable cause to arrest her. But no, nothing here about Stephanie McMahon from the 1999 Attitude Era who crocodile tears got the police to arrest. Police responded to a 911 call that he, he phoned. Don't just say they responded to a 911 call. You should add that he's the one who made the call and noted that Steph had minor injuries to her head and neck. God damn. Do you see it or, do, or are you guys not seeing it? Jonathan was arrested and later released that same day. He has denied the allegations and he's also provided. Well, no, it actually doesn't say that at all. It doesn't say anything like that. Majors attorney Priya Chaudhary alleged that Steph actually assaulted Majors during the incident and that the case is a witch hunt. It also talk about the police who believe what Majors attorney is, is saying. Why don't you talk about that? Talk about that. You're not going to talk about how it's not just Priya Chaudhary who alleges it. It's also the police detectives who look at the evidence. They look at their evidence, which is the body camera footage. And they decided, oh, there might be actually a little cause for pause here. Let's try to arrest this woman. And now she's out of the country. And even though she was OK to appear in court in May 9th, remember, she was out of the she was in the country. Of course, March 25, everything happens. Robs him after he goes to jail, dips over to jolly old England. And then comes back, what, four or five days later, I believe it was. So she's no problem traveling here to there. There's, there's no urgency. There's nothing that she has to attend to. She's gone 
She's back in America on May 9th. That's fine. She's in court again for their June 12th date, I think. I think that's when they went to try to arrest her. And they deactivated the incident card so that the police couldn't go in and try to arrest her. There was no, They still had probable cause, but the DA said, no, no, deactivate this thing. And we haven't seen her since. She's been in England ever since. Did she leave when the district has turned? You guys want to do some investigative journalism? Somebody tell me whether when the date is that she left the United States to go to England for that last time where she hasn't returned yet because she'll be arrested at the airport. Tell me when she was in America last and was the DA deactivating the I-card only to get her on a plane to skedaddle. Is that what was going on? Please inform me. Variety, you guys love to do investigative journalism. Get the exclusive on that. Go ask your source familiar to the district attorney's office. I mean, what's more to read? The trial was originally intended on the 3rd. It was rescheduled to 6th because prosecutors were still in the process of obtaining discovery. No, because they said they were in the process. They claimed that. And then on to 6th, the prosecution said it was ready for trial. But attorneys for majors found issues with the certificate of compliance. No, 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 no. There were issues with the certificate of compliance. Though not they found issues. They lit- They were. They, they. What they found was footage inside of two terabytes of information, which you don't seem to have mentioned here anywhere in this. There was two terabytes of information that inside there was street footage. You know, hopefully you won't find it because we definitely didn't flag it as we're supposed to say. This is the part of the thing where we see Jonathan walking right past her. You didn't flag that because you're not doing your jobs as the prosecution's office and you guys are shady as hell and you're corrupting you. You've been withholding information this whole entire time. And then you fixed and changed up the case even after Jonathan Major's team provided video that they said, oh, look, district attorney, here's some video. You guys see, this, we're actually pretty innocent. And then they go, no, okay, oh, uh, you know what? Change your answers. And then she went to court on May 9th and offered different answers. That happened. That was a thing that happened. Jonathan Major's team, they said, okay, we'll give you this information. Just don't change your answer or nothing. Just, you know, because we know that you guys are all about the good and up and good and you want to not hurt people who don't deserve to be hurt. So here's this information. Here's this video that shows Jonathan. Yeah. Um, they changed their story. They changed their, their charges. Strangulation wasn't up there anymore. That was the thing that happened. It re- literally happened in real time. Variety is not talking about that once here. Not once. Not even a pre claimed. claimed. None of that. The hearing is on September 15. My name is Chillmonger. Watch out for these people of colorless. What can I say, man? 